to um, talk about the cherry blossom today. Uh, in Japan, I think at this time, I have been watching the, the YouTube video and the tremendous this, uh, cherry blossoms blooming all over Japan now. I think uh, there's a lot of different kinds and uh, uh, blooming at different times. But I think a major one is uh, Yoshino, Some Yoshino cherry uh, blooms about the uh, um, beginning of the uh, uh, April and uh, it's coming from the, the southern tip like a, you know Kyushu and then going gradually to the Hokkaido and uh, uh, it's a tremendous uh, festival in Japan and I really really miss it because um, that particular um, um, festival is in my heart because when I was a kid um, I was uh, uh, taken by this beauty, even like a, and I was like a, oh maybe five years old, six years old, you know, the, the, uh, every year the, during the cherry season in my small town I think uh, there is uh, this river bank and the uh, cherries are planted along the river bank and the people go there for that particular like a week or ten days period of time uh, to do a picnic or just uh, just to view the uh, cherry blossom and uh, um, that particular image is very so strong and uh, the beautiful beautiful scenery and uh, uh, when I um, the you know kind of became adults and uh, uh, I see here and there the cherry blossoms are uh, planted um, the, but uh, the one that I you know my hometown uh, cherry festival I think this is around, around, around the river bank is the one place that uh, you can see cherry blossom but also the little bit higher like a castle type of thing is there and uh, the, the, there is a big huge festival in that uh, um, uh, little bit high um, area where cherry blossoms are massively planted and the people who go there on the cherry festival day I think uh, uh, just one day or two, uh, maybe three days maybe they have uh, uh, you know the, uh, the, the selling the, the food and the, all these things and the performance uh, some singing or something like that and it's a very very joyous uh, fest festivity a uh, festival and uh, um, uh, I think I remember that and uh, uh, yeah that's um, uh, Japanese um, people soul is right there you know so I realized that uh, um, overseas also uh, there's lots of uh, um, cherries uh, are now uh, being appreciated. I think uh, people are trying to plant the cherry trees, uh, flowering cherry trees. And, uh, but the cherry trees, I think uh, uh, in the U.S. for example, mostly and in Colorado, mostly cherry trees are, are the kind that uh, it's a particle. It's like a, a lot, lots of flowers coming like like this, like a triangular shaped uh, weeping a little bit and but it's abundant flowers and then sometimes those variety has a fruit, the cherry fruits there but sometimes uh, they, they don't have a fruit. And uh, they are the very common here and uh, uh, it's called chalk cherry. Um, chalk cherry is uh, uh, kind of a native maybe because I can see everywhere in the mountains and everything and uh, there's a small uh, flutes uh, coming in uh, I think uh, uh, sometimes called the bird cherry bird cherry is a uh, more beautiful and uh, um, but uh, even then I, I, it's very very beautiful it's very different from the Japanese cherry uh, trees uh, blossoms because it's a you know, particle which means uh, uh, I don't know what the Japanese uh, way of saying that but it's a you know kind of a together with a whole bunch of them and uh, so but I found the cherry blossoms in my room <laughs> I like to show you they start to bloom now uh, this is Asco, Asco, uh, Asco uh, this is called Asco Financial and uh, it's called Neo Financial Harakara uh, crossed with uh, Asco Central and uh, Neofinara Falcara 
neo-financial fund color uh, is the uh, very similar to this, but uh, it's a white uh, flowers like this, but it has a long spur coming out, and it's called samurai orchid. And uh, in Japan, uh, it's called fuki fuki ra or fuki ra. Fuki ra uh, uh, is the um, one of the most popular uh, orchid variety uh, people uh, grow in in Japan. And uh, I think the, uh, um, the when samurai, uh, you know, 500 years ago or whatever, uh, this particular samurai had a particular hobby of growing this uh, hukiran, neokinara falcara. And um, uh, when it's blooming, uh, he took this one bloom, very tiny, dainty, very white flowers and uh, put it in a, in a year robe or year <laughs> um, and they went to and went to the bottle and so that's how the name came about samurai orchid and I have I have that but it's not blooming I have that particular thing here uh, this is the one variety of uh, new but uh, uh, this one is kind of a uh, difficult to to bloom, I think every uh, it doesn't bloom every year, but once in a while it starts to bloom. And it's very very beautiful, and um, this is the uh, uh, very um, uh, floriferous. That means uh, at least once a year they bloom like this, and it has a color of the pink, pink flower. The final flower color is white, mostly white. And, uh, but uh, this one has uh, the cross with this uh, different type of ascocentrum, and uh, which is also vanda. This type of uh, uh, leaves tells you this is the vanda varieties, and uh, I cross with those, and they become uh, the pink color. And uh, also, um, there's a lot of uh, cross from the Adeofinara falcara. Uh, there's a blue one, uh, which I love. And uh, uh, the other thing is that uh, um, the uh, I show you something else. Uh, this one is also the cross to be the new finale falcara, and uh, this is called rosemary variety, which has a very very fragrant uh, flowers, and it's a uh, uh, tips are a little bit bluer. Uh, purplish bluer and uh, it's beautiful and uh, uh, this also very um, consistently bloom once a year and I love this and um, but this one is I think it remains kind of a small and uh, but uh, now as you can see I'm not sure how much you can see uh, very beautiful Uh, yeah, I, I, I could do a cherry blossom beauty, hanami, uh, we call it hanami in Japanese. Okay, thank you, bye.